A lot of people think that pack testing is something that can only be done by electricians and that it's very technical. But I'm here to show you how easy it really is and that anyone can do it providing you use the right equipment and have the relevant instruction on its use. Much in the same way as you would look to check the safety of your vehicle with an MOT test, PAT testing involves checking the safety of electrical appliances. Electrical appliances start off perfectly safe, but through use and general wear and tear, appliances can develop faults. They will need various safety checks to reduce the risk of an electric shock or of a fire breaking out. Regular use of electrical appliances can lead to damage. In time, it is likely that the cable could start pulling out of the plug, as seen here in this example, or the wire could start fraying and become exposed, as you can see in this example. When you're fitting or replacing a fuse, it's important to use the right fuse for the appliance to make sure that the cable or appliance does not overheat due to a fault. In some instances, fuses are replaced with tinfoil or with a piece of metal. In this case, if the appliance was to develop a fault, the cable and the appliance are at risk of overheating and causing a fire. Increasingly, insurance companies are specifying the need for PAT testing as a necessary condition of insuring a property. The Electricity at Work regulations covers everything from the wiring in the building to the electrical appliances that we use on a daily basis. This regulation highlights the importance of inspection and maintenance of electrical equipment in the workplace. The Health and Safety Executive state that to PAT test you must be a competent person who's been given instruction. I'm going to show you how easy PAT testing really is. We break the procedure down into two sections. A formal visual inspection, and this is where we will find most faults on the appliance, and the actual testing. I have here an iron, and the first thing we would do is to check the rating plate to find out what kind of appliance it is. We check the casing of the appliance to make sure that there's no cracks or any visible damage, and also the cable and the outside and the inside of the plug. We would also make sure that it has the correct fuse rating inside. We plug it into the pad tester to find an area of exposed metal on the appliance and press the appropriate button. Within seconds, the tester gives us a result and on this occasion it has passed. Testing a Class 1 appliance. Plug the appliance into the bat pad and clip the test lead to a suitable earth point. Make sure that the appliance is switched on. Press the Class 1 button and wait for the bat pad to display the results of the earth continuity and insulation resistance tests. Testing a Class 1 plastic appliance. Plug the appliance into the bat pad. On these appliances, there is no place to clip the earth lead onto, so leave this to one side. Make sure that the appliance is switched on. Press the Class 1 plastic button and wait for the bat pad to display the results of the insulation resistance test. Testing a Class 2 appliance. Plug the appliance into the bat pad. If there is any metal work, clip the test lead onto this. Press the Class 2 button and wait for the bat pad to display the results of the insulation resistance test. Testing an IEC lead. Plug both ends of the IEC lead into the tester and press the power cord button. The bat pad carries out the test and displays the results of the earth continuity, insulation resistance and polarity tests. The polarity test checks the lead is wired correctly. Testing a standard mains extension lead. Plug the mains extension lead into the bat pad. Connect the short IEC lead to the socket of the mains extension back into the pad tester as shown. Press the power cord button and wait for the bat pad to display the results of the earth continuity, insulation resistance and polarity tests. Testing a long mains extension lead. 
Plug the mains extension lead into the bat mat. Connect the short IEC lead to the socket of the mains extension back to the PAT tester as shown. Press the long lead button and then press the power cord button and wait for the bat pat to display the results of the earth continuity, insulation resistance and polarity tests. Testing 110 volt appliances. Use the 110 volt adapter to plug a 110 volt appliance into the bat pat. Using this adapter you can carry out a test on a 110 volt appliance as shown here. Testing a Cloverleaf laptop power cord. Use the adapter shown to connect the Cloverleaf laptop power lead into the BatPat main socket and IEC socket. Press the power cord button to carry out a full test on this lead. As you can see, testing is quick and easy, and yet many companies spend hundreds, even thousands of pounds on contractors to do it for them.